How's it going everybody? Rob Rad here today and we are back with our NHL 22 hut no money spent road to glory our road to bread and thank you guys so much for the support on this series. Can we get this video to another 10 likes? You guys have been absolutely killing it and I've been having a lot of fun starting to figure it out a little bit more too like the gameplay and whatnot. It's been a lot of fun. Also if you are new and a lot of you are make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys get notified when I post all of my content. We get a lot of fun coming up this year in NHL 22. It's been a great year so far. But here we go. We're going to start on the free pack, guys. Uh, do these free packs. Log in and get them. Do your daily objectives, too, um, because I'll show you guys here in a second. But you can X-Factor player for 20 of them. Just 20 of them. Now, I don't know when uh, the first month set, uh, the, the first um, season uh, ends, because it's no longer by month, which I really do appreciate. But you guys can see here an X-Factor player choice for 20 it's repeatable. I don't know how many times we get to repeat it. I don't know what the cooldown is. I haven't been able to do it yet. But as you guys can see, I am 17 uh, fall collectibles. I've got three away from from getting one of these. And if you get enough uh, a tiers, you can get seasonal rewards from the hut rush um, uh, uh, from the hut rush tiers. Anyway, so make sure to get all the objectives done there. As you guys can see here, my objective is to win three games in Hut Rush, and you can play the CPU on Rookie. Um, you don't have to play uh, online against people. So if you want to put it on Rookie, get the first goal wins, take clappers with your guys, and boom, you're done. You get three, you get the daily objectives. It's really, really quick. But we have nine packs to open and one 400 coin bonus, which I believe did not quick sell from our daily, or it could be, no, you know what, it, it probably is from Hut Rush. A lot of these packs are from Hut Rush. We got a couple collectibles from playing online, but we're gonna start with these mini packs. Just get them out of the way, skip the animation. There's nothing good in here. If there is, maybe I'll, I'll celebrate it a bit. Do you guys wanna see me open every pack? I like sharing every pack with you guys because I get a chance to be like, Oh my goodness, we got a Nick Suzuki. I like being able to do that with you guys. Because um, I already know what's coming out of these, but I actually also a little bit of a fresh reaction. Sometimes I don't remember exactly what we recorded. That Nick Suzuki is going to be nothing but fodder since we've got the 86 Superstar Origins. Um, and we pulled a Louis Belpedio. And there's a few of you guys out there that are, that are saying, I look like Louis Belpedio. If you're new or have never heard that before, do you agree with that? Do I look like Louis Belpedio? I don't know, guys. I, I'm not sure I see it. His forehead's a little bit bigger than mine. But uh, I guess I guess it look, we look kind of similar with our hairstyles and the facial hair. But we got more packs to open. We get a Trent Frederick uh, a, and then a couple other players that are non-NHLers. And I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce their names. But then we get a couple premium packs here. Premium packs with the Superstar Collectible Packs. Um, we'll go through these a little bit slower. These actually have a decent chance. There's D Justin Downing or Dowling, I think was his name. Uh, Sean, uh, Sean Dursey, uh, yeah, Matt Pekka, nothing good, guys. I mean, we get a chance at, I think, one gold player. It's not worth it, really. Um, we get two base packs, so we'll just go ahead, get these done quickly. There's the gold player we are guaranteed. We do get another Riley Nash and a Danny O'Regan, but really nothing too exciting out of this pack. Can we get something good out of this next base pack? They get a small chance, I know, but hey, you never know. We get a Lucas Johansson, a nice Golden Knights jersey. Uh, not a Golden Knights, a uh, London Knights jersey, um, and that's about it. So we got the two superstar collectibles that I got from, I think, taking shots and scoring goals or blocking shots or something like that. Maybe winning games. I don't know, but that's an easy way. If you guys are just playing, you guys are probably unlocking these anyway. You know, squad battles. Uh, hut champs or rivals if you guys are playing those we can go ahead and get those done and then you know you can get yourself some from free upgrades without having to play hut uh hut uh challenges which is which is great and you guys can see here we're really close to our next rank 2070 points away uh it's at 6140 uh and you guys can see here the rewards potentially two jumbo premium two prime or 2750 or 2000 uh, 27500 good lord um and i think this i mean the packs are just better more better value i checked what last week was what we're going to have to get to we may or may not get there i'm going to get three full games in this episode yes i recorded three games worth i may play one more just before the buzzer within that last 45 minutes uh maybe two in that last 45 minutes based on whenever i get done uh, editing this video, but our first game is going to be against Hume Goat. Huma Goat? I don't exactly know how to say that name, but they have a pretty uh, okay uh, okay team. 
Uh, let's just see a look here at Center Ice. They got Dreisaitl and Matthews. So most likely the guys they took from uh, their X Factor pre-order pack. And there we go. We win the faceoff. Love to see us starting. But I hate to see us give it away right off the bat. Anyway, the first goal is going to come here. Kyle Connor dumps it down deep. Chris Letang gets it up to Ray Ferraro. Ray Ferraro skates down the wing. Ray Ferraro is going to go behind the net. Nope, just kidding. Finds Latang. Can't score, but Pedersen's there on the rebound. A good crash from Latang, and Pedersen gets us a 1-0 lead. Good to see Ray Ferraro and Chris Latang jumping. I like the fact that I found uh, Chris Latang here. This little cutback bang to Latang. And then I believe that's Ben Bishop in goal. I believe that's like the meta this year. I'm not going to go chasing any meta. I'm just going to take players that I think are good or fun to play with. But the next goal comes with Dougie Hamilton feeding Leon Dreisaitl. The poke check from Butcher doesn't go. But then they get it down in the corner. Nathan McKinnon now. Nathan McKinnon circles around with it. Dipsy doodling. Finds Nurse at the point. The one-timer. Saved by Price. And I give it away. I, guys, I, I've done that way too many times in the past couple days. Uh, playing without recording him. I did that a couple times. I'm no longer passing with the goalie unless he just bails. Unless my opponent is just gone and not here, I'm not passing it out with the goalie because that's a big one. That's a big goal. That tied the game. And next, we have Chris Letang with the hip check. Gets it to Matthews, to Kaprizov, to Kane on the back door. The hip check, keeping the puck in at the blue line. I absolutely love that. That was incredibly aggressive. It would have been really bad if it didn't pay off, but... Uh, we can see there, we got it to Matthews. He loses it to Kaprizov, and then Kaprizov finds Kane. So we got the one, two, three on the first line. All of our X-Factor players there. Next up, we got a bit of a jailbreak. Matthews comes in, takes the backhand. No big deal, right? That was an easy save, especially with Carey Price's superstar ability. We knock it off Matthews a couple times, and he goes low and actually does score that one. That's a bit disappointing. That's another one of those where I'm like, ah, sh I wish that... You know, I wish I would have gotten it off him a bit further. I know he's doing a good job of protecting the puck, but the fact that he just got that thing to slide in there beyond the pad of carry price, it's kind of lucky, uh, but it is what it is, as you guys can see me. I, I, I've been messing with my strategies quite a bit. I think I might switch it back to uh, close support. And then here, I go chasing, misses the net, Doan picks it up. No contest is a superstar ability, and he finds Kyle Connor. I know I've used the... Uh, the, the close quarters with Ray Ferraro, but I don't think I've ever had it activate. I don't think he's actually scored any, like, important goals, but you guys can see here, Shane Doan there does get that one to go with that no contest, and our opponent's taking a 3-2 to two lead. Ray Ferraro now dumps it around to Carlson. We're on the four check. There's Ferraro, but a good poke check by Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov gets to the front of the net, takes the shot, and then we slide at five hole. Guys, we get that thing to go five hole. A little bit lucky there. A lucky goal for our opponent on their second one. We're getting a lucky goal there with our third one. They're garbage goals. I'll take them. It's a goal nonetheless. So you guys can see, we're going into overtime. And you can see why I said I'm not really happy with this game. Because we were pretty much dominating. Just couldn't get, you know, those those tight shots to go. Or, or the snipes or the cross creases. Just missed by that much. Uh, but we have overtime here. And we're going to get it down low with Kaprizov. A good poke check there, but we are going to board play, and the puck comes away. Dreisaitl misfires on the pass. Finds Seth Jones, who wires it into the top corner there, guys. And we are going to win this one 4-3, to three, and most likely deservedly, in overtime. Uh, I just think if I didn't pass out that puck, our opponent scored two goals on his own. But you guys can see here, a good 760 rivals points, and, you know, 1350 we can get there. I think we can get to gold from silver. We're back in Division 5, by the way. I don't think I caught you guys up on that. We were, like, right on the cusp, bouncing back and forth kind of thing between relegation and promotion. But as you guys can see, the X-Factor players for my opponent, uh, Leon Dreisaitl, Kaprizov, and Matthews with their X-Factors, then Shabbat, Kyle Connor, Shane Doan, Seth Jones, Darnell Nurse, and I believe he had Ray Ferraro as well. So I'm going to guess that this might be a fellow no-money-spent player. Anyway, in our second game, I don't think we're playing no money spent. Uh, they have 91 Austin Matthews with both of his superstar ability and zone ability active. Uh, they also have Seth Jones is active. And I believe, uh, I forgot who their third person was that they had active. I want to say it was Huberto. Anyway, the first goal is going to come from Hedman finding Pedersen. Pedersen takes the long trip around the ice, stops, does lose it. But Seth Jones, he's hungry after that overtime goal. He's going to feed it down low, and this is why I have behind the net, guys, right there. Your opponent can get stuck behind the net, and all of a sudden you have a two-on-one out in front. You can either shoot it, 
or pass it. And this time, Ray Ferraro finds Nick Suzuki. Guys, if you are ever in trouble right there and the opponent pinches you, don't be afraid to send it low. More often than not, your guys will react quicker to the puck. And that's something I started to discover. So I started to use that more and more. So you can see here, Verana loses the puck here. Heiskanen gets it, but Matthews picks it off. Matthews go on the back door to Joseph. And yeah, he kind of knocks that one in his own net. You got to think that Joseph should have scored that one time, or maybe I should have put it back the other side, but the goalie flew over. Uh, and our opponent really was not happy after that 2 nothing start in the game. Just really said, this game's not for me. Already not getting the bounces, although at 2, you know, that's one where it's like, ah, oh, you just throw your hands up, you keep playing, right? You gave up one legit goal. One of them was a pretty cheapy, right? It wasn't great. But that 500 uh, for the game win and the 270 for the goals gets a 600 away from the next rival's rank. So you know what I said? I said, screw it. Let's go ahead and get another game in here. But you guys can see it was pretty dominant from the get-go. Uh, taking a look at their X-Factor players. They had uh, Max, Jonathan Huberdo. They had the new Seth Jones. They have the Origins Matthews. Also had Flurry, Dougie Hamilton, and then the maxed out Hedman. So quite a few players there. Uh, worth some big coins. That's a lot of, a lot of good players on that team there. But happy to get the rage quit. I'll take them as I get them. However they come. And you guys can see here we do get promoted back to Division 4. So a little quick stint in Division 5. Uh, now we're in Division 4. And our first game is going to be against Massholes with X-Factor, Marshand, uh, Stamkos, uh, team of the Week, Stamkos, and, and Nathan McKinnon there. So, it's not going to be an easy one, I can tell you that much, guys. Uh, and this game, I remember it vividly. I just played it, like, maybe 10 minutes ago between editing this and, you know, when I played it. Um, this was just... This is this guy's offense right here. You can see Marshan just skates around the outside. We get there. I try and stop Marshan. Find Stamkos on the back door. And it's literally just every time he got the puck, he just hugged the boards mashed the left stick down as hard as he could and pushed it um trying to get that little bit of extra speed and guys you don't have to look at the overall for this guy's team you just have to look at the base stat for speed no matter we do not give up matthews with a good cut to the middle takes the shot and again we're getting some lucky bounces today we will take it as austin matthews gets it to go through the goalie he does nudge his own goalie um so, I mean, maybe you could blame him on that one. Probably more so a lucky goal. And I'm willing to admit that some of my goals are lucky. But hey, our opponents get lucky goals too. So, I'm not going to complain about it. Anyway, Nick Suzuki's going to dangle with it. He's going to find Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov gets a sick little toe drag. I thought he was going to come over to try and check. But nope. We get the toe drag and then we flip it up. I don't know how we got that thing up and over the glove. But Kuznetsov with a fantastic, sexy little toe drag there. I mean, you see Gerard there just backing away. And then all of a sudden, we got it. Again, I'm changing my quick breakout to close support. Because I always forget to change my strategies after the game like I said so. But... There in the third period, it is 2-1, and here is this guy's offense again. You can see he's just going to take Marshan and just body through. I'm playing conservative with Theodore, trying not to get beat. We missed the check, and he is going to get the poke check as Carey Price couldn't make the save on Marshan. And he ties it 2-2. Two two. So you know what? Both second goals. A little bit fluky, but it is what it is. You can see he's got fully powered up Brad Marshan there. Gets the shot. Carey Price makes the save. Just can't control the rebound as it goes up into the air. But we then go to overtime. Nothing happens in overtime. The shot from the corner. No big deal. Time was expiring anyway. I figured I'd show you guys that. Just so you know, we did go to overtime and stuff happened. But nothing noteworthy because we didn't show it to you. But here we go. We have the shootout. He comes in with McDavid. Forehand, backhand, I stay square. Guys, just don't overcommit. If they beat you by going all out one way, so be it. Uh, but just don't overcommit. We come in with Kaprizov here. We dread that wait for him to make a move. I think it's going to drop in, but it doesn't. Uh, we we had backhand there for a split second. Maybe could have gone backhand, forehand, but uh, just a good save from our opponent here. And he comes with Stamkos. Stay square. He misses the net. He comes around. Not much he can do. He can't go back the other way when he's cutting across like that. So, anyway, we got Matthews in here. We try the toe drag. Thought maybe he'd think I'd go to the forehand. Probably should have just stayed forehand, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. Every shootout attempt, you guys are thinking, oh, you could have done something different. Well, in the moment, it's not so easy. But the shot there from Taylor Hall with a good glove save this time from Carey Price stays square. And now we've got Patty Kane. What are we going to do? Are we going to do the Patty Kane? Are we go back and forth, back and forth? What are we going to do? Oh, we had him backhand, but I've made one too many moves. 
and pulled it back to the forehand, and we are not going to score, and we're not going to win this one just yet. But here he comes trying to do the Datsuk flip, maybe, or the Datsuk shot with Dougie Hamilton. Kind of a curious decision there. Anyway, we come in with Pedersen. This time, I'm going to stay backhand, and we score. And that one is one in the shootout here, guys. You can see we get another 670, which gets us just up to gold. That's why I'm saying I probably need to play one more game um, just to make sure we solidify it, getting some hut champs points. Um, there's our rewards. We'll probably get another collectible. And there we go, guys. 18-9 to nine in shots, 3-2. to two. Um, and it's the final score. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys in the next one.